Alright, welcome to our first episode for the Total War Warhammer series. And this is the second game in the series. I played the first one quite a bit and it was awesome, honestly pretty awesome. Um, a really good coming together of two awesome, you know, games or whatever you want to call them, series of games. Um, as you'll probably know Warhammer, you know, Warhammer 40k and all that. And um, Total War. So, this amalgamation of, of uh, I don't know what to call them, I guess content, because there's a lot of stuff behind them, is, it's awesome, it, they really do a good job with it. So, I installed this one last night, I haven't played it at all yet, so this is my first jump into it, so, let's do it. Alright, so here's some DLCs, Mortal Empires, I think this looks like a lot of the ones from the first one. But this is the main campaign here. <clears throat> okay. I was under the impression I'd installed these, but apparently not. Yeah, so this looks like... Hmm. Well, we'll just go with Eye of the Vortex, because this is the, the main one for this one anyway. I fight for the greater good. Okay. Now, so these are the High Elves. And we've got the Lizard Men. <laughs> cool, cool. Mm, pardon me. Dark Elves. Skaven. And the Tomb Kings. Okay. I wanted to. I thought I'd install these. Steam is installed. I think it's probably why it hasn't been installed yet. Because it kept doing this. That's okay, whatever. We'll figure that out at another point. The I had the same issues with the first one. The downloadable content sometimes just didn't unlock properly. But let's just ignore it for now. Okay, so... I don't really know who I want to play. I like the idea of the Dark Elves. They're really cool. They're pretty messed up. I I like how they've sort of twisted the elves and you know, done this with them. But the, the Tomb Kings look really cool as well. And collect valuable trading goods and combine them with Caniponic jars to craft magic items and legions of legend dynasties from the dynasties of the past. I don't know, so in the form of question to back to life should should enough souls of their own be lost in battle. Okay. Oh, this Skaven, sorry. Skaven Underworld, Seven Skaven Presence. Oh! That's actually quite helpful. Damn food supplies to gain growth and other bonuses and avoid starvation. Yeah, because they breathe like rats, literally. Uh, as a turn to look public order. But as you to spawn additional units. Clan has to fight in local battles. Interesting. So, if you have high corruption, it brings down your public order. Which you can build buildings to work around. But it, it means that you'll have additional units to fight in your battles. Only in those local battles, though. Okay. We will drown this Powerful world. naval units that can replenish forces, recruit new units and forces, and bombard battles within range. Provide a bonus to provincial economies at the cost of reduced public order. Murderous prowess. Dark Elves receive the favor of Cain in the form of increased combat performance should they kill enough enemies in battle. That's pretty cool. Okay. Settlements are linked by a network which boosts the power of commandments. Cool. Um, periodic missions allow access to powerful blessed variants of certain units. Interesting. So be suitable for every task though. Some are so ferocious they may lose control and charge ahead. Okay. That would piss me off. It's interesting, but it would piss me off. 
Influence can be spent on superior lords or used to affect diplomacy between factions. Trade agreements allow line of sight to assets controlled by the trade partner. Superior coordination melee combat when high elves into battle at full strength. This okay, the high elves. Oh, it's per lord. So he's easy and these are all hard. Easy, normal, normal. Hard, 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 normal. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking there, like the vampire counts from the first one. So vampire counts are still in the game, you just can't... Oh, vampire. Corruption doesn't affect public order. You just can't play as them. They probably will be able to later. The vengeance of clan pestilence. Time to do it. Stock my trophy rack. Hard is probably based on like where they spawn. Hmm, spread chaos. Interesting. I seek my birthright. Hmm. That's weird. I don't like how these work together. He gives XP to other lords, but if they get to a higher level than him, <laughs> loyalty loss? Hmm. Don't know about that. It's weird. Dude's awesome. Oh, that was almost me picking it right there just for that. Light of the Asser. Okay. There is no limit to my power. I fight for the greater good. I'm really I'm liking some of these tomb kings. I think I might start with this guy. I like I like his faction effects. I am really liking the Tomb Kings, they look cool. Um, we're gonna start on normal. Yeah, we're just gonna start on normal across the board. It's, um, I don't care about that. It, uh, it's a fairly difficult game, and it's been a long time since I played the first one, and the second one's not going to be exactly the same, so, let's see how we go. The sands of time ravage all mortals, monuments, even civilizations cannot stand against it. Their remnants lost beneath the dunes, awaiting discovery by the brave or foolish.
Like time itself, the living are not welcome in Nehekara. For this is the land of the dead, ruled by the twin kings, where only the ex- No, fair. Come on, fuck off. <laughs> Trying to watch the cinematic. They were tyrants, now cursed with undead. They crave power more than any living thing. And none more so than Cetra, the imperishable. Eternity was promised, but the Tomb Kings awoke to unlife, no longer beatific sovereigns. Their kingdoms as decayed as their bodies. The glory of Kemri lost. Black pyramid stirs, but does not wake. A vessel of untold power awaiting a new master, but it remains sealed. The lich priests are tasked with finding access. They venture deep into the catacombs seeking clues. Discovering an obelisk inscribed with hieroglyphs as old as the desert gods. The answer lies in the nine books of Nagash, the original tomes of undead lore, authored by the arch necromancer. Due to the turbulence of the vortex across the ocean, not nine, but only five books are needed. Then, the pyramid shall open. Interesting. Time has seen the books lost, scattered. Other tomb kings will seek them, for all desire the Black Pyramid. Begin the search. Raise your warriors. The legions of Khemri march to war. All right. Calm down, you silly cat. Comments work on the Black Pyramid of the Usurper. There's no moment to lose. Find five of Nagash's tomes so that just can claim power for Cetra King Kings. So there is a green skin infestation to the north to deal with. Ah, uh, the old green skins. Didn't know why they called them green skins at first. And I realized it was orcs and goblins. Okay, alright. 
How long has it been? I mean, it took us quite a while to sort of get to this point, so I'll probably only play a little bit for the first episode, but I'll go straight into a second episode, back to back. Alright, you need to calm down, you need to stop grabbing stuff, or else I'm putting you in the corner, okay? So just chill, sit. Okay, cool. How they play, Camry books in the gush, within the black pyramid group, how lies dominant waiting to be unlocked, click books and win the battle to achieve campaign victory conditions. Day of awakening, Tomb Kings factions can recruit in the Sins armies without need to pay their recruitment or upkeep. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Stop it. Alright, no, that's it. You're being a little shit. Come on. Piss off. Okay. Black Pyramid stirs my liege, but to reveal the secrets within. Links it must be found. Okay, cool. I can't put you over my corner. Okay. Hmm. Right. So you have to go to another land because there's only four here. Okay, cool. Calm down. And flay their worthless husks as an example to all of a trespass upon my realm. Calm your farmer. The dynasties of the tomb kings are venerated throughout the ages. Great power may be attained through alignment with your ancestors, my lord. A humble suggestion, your eternal majesty. Yeah, you gotta be careful what you say to these guys, I think. Um, da -da -da -da. Yes, yes, that is a smart suggestion. I think there's going to be a lot of strength in those dynasties because um, they're like your research. Okay, all right. So we've got this is our starting army. Oh, he's a halberd infantry. Interesting. Um. Jeez, how do you do this? Ah, here we go. Alright, cool. So this is his skill tree. Oh. Looks like he can cast spells as well. Passive. Nice. Passives are the best in these games. Okay, so he's got spells. He's got your standard sort of... Um, these passives here and these passives here are oh, awesome um, quest item quest item steeds yes a oh, chariot of the gods that's awesome you want to get them their steeds definitely returned in madness nice okay Cool, cool. Um, yep. Okay. Yep, a lot of economy bonuses down here. Ammunition and armor bonuses for your army. Whew, oh boy, this is gonna be hard to choose. Spells can be pretty useful, but like, I tend to find it's actually better to buff your troops with these, you know, get more ammo, more armor and stuff. And um, your steeds are very important. Jeez, okay, cool, cool. Alright, let's have a look at our city. So what we got? Okay, so these are crypts that level up. 
insufficient funds, but you need, um, what is it? Friggin growth and stuff as well. So what is this bone shaper? Chariots. Okay, screaming skull catapult, Jesus. Golden eye was size there. Great Pyramid. That's access to not buildings. Only slaves worry about eat. Huh, interesting. Okay, so gold mine. Very nice. Let's go to chariots. Graves. We'll build this one here because you notice that <clears throat> you can only build certain things at certain levels. So if you haven't played this game before, um, this will only level up to a level three and so will this, but this one will level up to a level five as it's like the, uh, the capital, I guess you could call them. So a building like this, that goes up to five. You can only build it in the capital to get its max value. Jeez, and yeah, they look really good, so. Um, like these buildings as well, you can only build here. Even these ones level four. So something to bear in mind. Like this one, I'll probably even destroy it here and rebuild it in one of these ones when I capture them. Let's just do income, campaign movement. Growth untainted, public order. Pardon me. Okay. Bone giants. Nice. Supply mark. Whoa. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So, what are we going to build first? I mean, oh, no, 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 God, I didn't mean to click on that. I guess we're probably going to go with this one, just so we can build a better army, so we can get archers as well as chariots, yeah, okay, and they've got some armies here. Think. Are they armies or just flags? I think actually they might just be flags. How many savage orcs, savage orcs, savage orcs, archer boys, archer boys. Oh, Sphinx is a monster, skeleton chariot, tomb guards, halberds, skeleton warriors. Hmm. We might be able to just take it straight away. Although, where, where is Sandry? Yeah, we could just take the one that has no opposition. But then again, let's see how we go. City has been reached. And your warriors are prepared for battle, mighty lord. Study your options, nevertheless. Encircling the enemy and starving them out may be the wisest course of action. Defeat is impossible. Let's encircle them. Although they might get reinforcements from here. There's the mass. They... Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, and actually that brings me to my next point. Oh, this is so in-depth, there's a lot to go through. Yeah, 
after I go through these things after end this episode off or as soon as just get too long. Okay. Yeah, so I think it looks like they've stacked it so your stronger units are affected by the last ones. So we will start at the start. Sometimes it's actually better not to start at the start, but uh, yeah. Relations with foreign powers okay, may be cool. managed through diplomacy. Yes, I remember that. Consider your situation carefully. That's fine. Okay, so. Right. So that's another thinking. My dynasty reigns supreme. The sentinels. Right, okay. Submit to your genius. Followers of my guard. Top knots. It is right. Ah, okay. Right. So we want to take out these guys. So we probably want to join with these guys first and then wipe out them there and then we'll eventually want to join with them. That's the idea by the looks of it anyway. Oh, how do I get back out of this? Um, there we go, cool. Um, I think we might just go for this battle. Give you guys a battle before we end it. <clears throat> and I'm worried about them sending reinforcements from the nearby land. Your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. Okay. So you deploy your army. Obviously, you want to put them in uh, positions that are favorable for you. So the enemy's army was spawn within this red. I think it's red and color blind in this zone here. It looks red to me. Um. Cool, so that's what my monster looks like. So we've got infantry mostly with one monster and chariots. So what we'll do is we'll probably put um, our infantry to the front and we'll probably send our infantry With Cetra. I wonder how fast this monster is going to be though. I want our chariots to flank that way. I might send the monster with them. Okay, cool. Interesting. Okay, so they're guarding their flank. Be sure to position your troops accurately in battle, my lord. Drag out your formations for best effect. Track now. Yeah. We might just ignore these guys and go straight through here. Okay, cool. Hmm, what do you have for uh, explosion? Is not good. Dump itself. Cool. So it's only for surrounding. Might just go for yeah. This monster is actually quite fast. Your 
troops come under fire, oh. Commander. Have them find cover or eliminate the source. The enemy general is slain, my lord. Passing huh. your name with his dying breath. That was good. Send his army after him. Okay. You take out there. See, it's not actually a general in this battle because it's just local defenders, but they still mark one um, squad as a general squad. If you take him out, then um, they they lose morale very quickly, as you can see. They're starting to break standard total war stuff. Does he have any abilities? No, he doesn't. Oh, I see some Get in there, boys. Get as much experience as possible without dying, of course. Yeah, the monster's pretty good. They always give you at least one, like, really strong. Um, sort of like one squad that's really strong. And that happens to be this monster. If you kill them after this screen ending, like now, you actually still get experience. Yeah, I don't think we're really going to catch any. That's all good. End the battle. Alright. Yeah, see, monster got 55 kills. Oh, the chariots got 50. Alright, they did a lot more damage than I thought they would. I'll keep that in mind. They're actually pretty good at least offensively. Looked like they were taking heavy hits, but it must have been these guys I was looking at the health bar for, because they're pretty hurt. Alright, alright, cool. Sometimes you don't want to take it. Yes. Cool. Ah, he leveled up. Cool. See yeah, skill points I have one to spend. It's pretty straightforward. And then you gotta pick a tree that you want. Now I usually put one in each to sort of get them started. Um, to be honest, I actually really like being able to move 10% further. So let me check into that. Okay, followers join your character and banners maybe one in battle. Okay, and you can hold a certain amount and they can use certain bonuses. Okay, and we'll be assigned to other characters if you don't use them. Magic items obtained through a variety of successful actions like quests and battles and stuff improve your performance. Magic items obtained by a character are assigned automatically if no items are already assigned. 
and you use your assigned to other lords. Legendary lords may win unique item suit quest chains. Cannot be passed up characters. Yes. Lords and heroes gain traits over time. Jeez, it's going through everything, isn't it? Traits cannot be swapped or removed. They can be positive or negative. General information about the lord. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright, so we got nothing of anything. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to end it off there, guys. Um, I think it's getting pretty long, but I will go straight into another one as I'm quite enjoying playing this. So, um, yeah, we'll see you in about five seconds.